Hey there, Chad with Prodigal's customer success team here. In this video, we're going to talk about the communication channel, recording communications from your customers, and how it moves your leads through the pipeline. To get to the lead pipeline from the home screen here, simply click the Go to Lead to Pipeline button, or from anywhere else in the app, click the Lead Pipeline button on the navigation bar on the left hand side of the screen. From here, you can see in New Leads, we have the Mulligan Steakhouse lead for John Smith. You can see the red phone up here indicates that we've never recorded a communication for this customer. Now, if we click on the three dots on the top right of the lead card, we'll see that there's the ability to record communication and schedule follow up reminders. And additionally, in the next action, which is context sensitive to all of the different lead statuses, this will tell us to move this through the pipeline, we need to record a communication. Further down the pipeline, the next action changes based off what moves the lead through the pipe. In this case, we'll click the record communication button and we'll you know, record a phone call that we're going ahead and calling John Smith. We could say it was an outbound phone call or an inbound phone call. So if he called us, we'd record inbound. But in this case, we're gonna act as if we're, if we're giving him a call. Did he answer? So yes or no. In this case, if we click no, it would be what we would call a failed follow-up. We could change that to a yes, and that would be a successful follow-up. When you record a failed follow-up, the lead will move to the two contact status, indicating we've attempted to call this person, but we've never successfully gotten a hold of them hence recording a failed follow-up. Recording a successful follow-up will move it to the to schedule status, meaning we attempted to call this person, we got a hold of them, but we still have yet to schedule an on-site estimate. In this case, let's go ahead and record some notes. Um, got a hold of John and he was busy, asked for a call back tomorrow during the afternoon. Recording this right here with the send button puts this in the system and it says we made a phone call. It was outbound. The contact succeeded and we got a hold of John. So this is the note that we left ourselves. And you'll see that it moved from new leads to to schedule, indicating that we have a successful contact. From here, we could also schedule a follow up reminder. So if I click on the button here and it says November 21st, by default, it's for the next day. Maybe I actually want to put that to Monday, give them a call on Monday. Um, and then it says who the follow-up is for. By default, it's the user you're logged in with. And we can um, record a special note. Um, call in the afternoon. And then uh, we could also actually change the date around noon, or the, the time here. So and then we'll schedule this follow-up. And it says we schedule the follow-up task on November 23rd for Stefan Foos. Closing out of this, we see that we have this reminder scheduled as well. And that's how to record communications in the follow-up channel and also to schedule follow-up reminders. Thanks for watching.